Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the first of potentially a few like this. So I kind of wanted to do a Q&A series for you guys answering a few questions I've been receiving just like one by one depending on the question that is. Um, so the one I'm going to be addressing today in part one of this Q&A is what got me into geology? And I mean there isn't really a quick answer for that. It wasn't something that I just knew overnight I want to be a geologist. It was kind of like all throughout my life I've loved anything to do with rocks and earth science. I've always been drawn to it, not just necessarily fossils, the whole thing like pine cones, minerals, shells, rocks, anything the earth had made, anything nature related I was in love with and literally from the day I could remember I would no joke my eyes would be glued to the floor everywhere we'd go in the forest, at the beach, you know, anywhere that I could potentially find something, I had to just look around and see what I could discover. And my poor parents would just be there with my little bucket, because, you know, I'm talking when I was really little, this started. It, I've never known any different. I've always just wanted to find things. I've just wanted to look around rocks and see what was under them, what was on them, like, what can I find? And it was just these little treasures to me. And I could find them anywhere, it didn't matter where I was, I, I just looked for things and I just had such an urge to, you know, discover little things and it's just always been a passion of mine and as I've got older it's it's never disappeared, I've always been glued to the floor wherever I am, um, just looking around seeing what I can find and now that I love fossil hunting it's a really good skill to have. And, even throughout school and college I never had geology offered to me as a subject. I had geography which I did really like and I did it at college and I actually went to university to study geography um, and it was only on the open day when I went there that I was like I don't think geography is for me. I just was looking at the course catalogue and all the different modules I was going to be studying and I just thought this isn't quite right and my parents had <laughs> driven me to my university which was four hours away and they were like right if this really isn't for you that's fine but let's actually you know not waste the day what other subjects are running today on the open day or applicant day um and geology was running and i walked into the department and no joke i just saw rocks everywhere and i was like right this is my subject and it was just that that was the instant click that i was like okay i'm changing onto this this is where i'm meant to be because I'd always had an interest in there but I, I never really knew about it as an area so it was kind of like a last minute switch and uh, geology at my university was delighted because they normally get geology students changing to geography not geography students changing to geology so that was quite fun and then my passion for it just kind of deepened because it never really felt like a chore learning about it it was just really interesting to me and I was really curious and I just wanted to know more and um yeah, then I got it tattooed on me, so I mean, it must be a real passion of mine, but I just thought I would share that, but yeah, so I've always loved everything to do with geology and earth science, but it was only until literally bang on I was starting university that I switched on to geology um, and kind of just took a risk really. I didn't know what I wanted to be when I was older, didn't know where I wanted to work, what I wanted to do, but I didn't have an alternative to university, so my parents had always said, they'll support me you know with whatever I choose to do whether it is university or whether it is just go straight into work or an apprenticeship there's so many other um doors you can go in now to you know thrive in any career really you don't have to go to university but I didn't have an alternative to give them like they were like okay if you don't want to do uni what do you want to do do you want to do an apprenticeship and I was like I don't know um so I just I decided right I'll go to uni we'll just do this and I've got to say best three years of my life I grew up so much at university I you know made some really good friends I learned so much and I just grew into a person I became so much more independent it was the best decision of my life really really was but um when I went there I had no idea if it was what I wanted like I was adamant I didn't want to go to uni it wasn't for me I really struggled with my A-levels um and you know here I am about to do a master's so if you're struggling with your A-levels it's not the end of the world like just throw yourself in the deep end and you know just try things there's always another option regardless what happens so yeah that's how I got into geology well some of the story anyway but yeah so just always loved it and I, I was lucky enough to be you know in and out of London when I was younger so I could go to the Natural History Museum and my parents could literally just put me there for a few days and just walk around with me and I was totally obsessed they you know didn't have to worry about entertaining me if there was dinosaurs around 
I was obsessed. So that was really amazing. So yeah, part one of the Q&A. Let me know if you've got any other questions you'd like to know about me and my story. But um, I just thought I would answer that one in video form because a few of you have been asking just how I got into geology. Um, and yeah, that's kind of my story. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And yeah, comment below any further questions you might have and I'll see you next time.